Hi Cancer, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-September general reading. This is for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Or if you're interested in a Cancer, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Cancer, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Cancer, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. I'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves, Cancer, how are y'all doing? I love y'all so much. Let's get right into this. Again, this is your mid-September general reading. Please only take what applies and leave the rest. Y'all know the drill. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for cancer? Again, mid-September. Yes, y'all have the three of cups at the bottom of the deck. This is water energy. This is you, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Some of you can be dealing with some other water signs. This is a celebration. This is like a congratulations. I'm going to go out and celebrate some kind of job well done. Queen of Wands, like you did it. You got it. Like whatever it is, you're like, yes, I can't wait to call up my, my friends, my people and celebrate. Yes. I love the three of cups. Um, we are in Mercury retrograde. You know, there could be people coming back around. Um, so Three of Cups is also can be a reunion energy. So just be aware. If you don't want your toxic ex back, ex back don't take them back. <laughs> don't come yell at me about it. Okay. Recent past for Cancer. Three of Pentacles. Okay, so so far two threes have come out. So threes could be very significant. Something that you're seeing here, um, threes, threes are creation, um, starting something. Some of you started a new job, um, started to collaborate um, in a situation in the recent past. Learning how to come together, okay? Recent past for cancer. You have the Knight of Wands. Fire energy could be dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Knight of Pentacles as well. Something's very exciting here. Something's very, someone's very passionate about building with you. This feels like someone's starting a band with you, starting a group, starting a recent past cancer. You, Page of Cups, I love this, Nine of Swords. Um, Younger water again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Wow. Yeah, I feel like there's like an exciting new adventure you're on. Maybe you've met some new, new three of pentacles, new friends. You're collaborating in a new situation, something creative, something fun. Page of cups with this is I feel like some of you have maybe met somebody new. Um, eight of pentacles, maybe at work for a group of you where um, I kind of feel like you're like, yeah, right, they would be into me, or that person is thinking, yeah, right, Cancer would be into me, okay? Someone is just really inspired by your light, by your passion, about how free you are. I'm hearing like free-spirited, like there's just the way that you express yourself. That's why like it's almost like you intimidate somebody, not in a bad way, because you're very like free and expressive in this Knight of Wands. And with the Page of Cups, someone's like interested in you. It could even be a friend. Feels a little bit more romantic, but it's like, they're interested in me? Current energy for Cancer, please. I heard on, on this harvest moon, I was gonna sing it, but I get embarrassed, on this harvest moon. Um, we also just came out of the Pisces full moon. So a lot of you are still in the energy of the Pisces harvest full moon. So that's very abundant blessings coming in where you're falling into a very emotional situation here, full card. This is not a ne the next chapter in your life. This is the next books you're writing right now. Okay. So welcome to some kind of new life of falling in moon energy. Like you're just uh, like, there's some kind of like, 
deep feels here. So with the Fool card, there's a lot of water. Um, the Flower of Life or Sacred Geometry could be significant to some of you. Um, this is a new, very, very emotional new beginning. Current situation with Cancer, please. What did I say, my loves? There has been some delays, Three of Wands, but you got it, Queen of Wands. You, I know you're a water sign, but like you're, you've been, you've been doing you. You're like, I am free. I express myself. I, I do what I want. I say what I want. Not in a cocky way, but you're very just. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's like, then you get in this Queen of Wands energy, and someone's like, yes, Spirit put something right in your hand. Winner, winner. Okay. Also, could be dealing with a fire sign in the future. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, um, Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. It feels like in the past. Even with Knight of Wands, Page of Cups, it feels like someone could have been a little inconsistent because they were kind of running away from their feelings. Here's the Moon card here again. Someone was running away from, you know, something here. But you got it. Whatever it is, it's like, man, I've been waiting for this. Boom, you got it in this future energy. Let's get your last two out. What's this future energy for Cancer mid-September? Thank you, Spirit, for these beautiful messages for my Cancers. Thank you. For my Cancerians, I should say. Um, two of Cups Tower. There's definitely a connection coming in. Um, Scorpio energy, again, water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio for a lot of you with this Two of Cups. A lot of you are like developing feelings for someone and someone's definitely developing feelings for you. The uh, star card with the Hierophant that came out, are you kidding me? High level commitment. I feel like it's been a long journey to get here to this this light up here. It's been a long time for you to get yours, okay? It does feel like an, either like a really great new friend, like a soulmate that's coming in, like a bestie, ride or die, or with a lot of you with the Page of Cups, Knight of Wands, Star card, this feels like very high vibe, meant to be romantic energy for a lot of you too. What? And the Ten of Cups and the Emperor is right here? That is such good energy. That is so beautiful. Ten of Cups. This is you're happy. They're happy. We're happy. Everyone's happy. This is meant to be. This is a wish fulfillment. This is Aquarius's card. Also, some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. This is the divine masculine coming in. This is like dreams coming true. Everyone's happy. Someone's got a plan here. Oh my God. And I just, is making me smile because look at this Hierophant. Like he is so just like, I feel grateful, I feel blessed. Like I've been through a lot and I feel like that's a, that's a perfect message to, before we go into a little deeper to clarify. Mercury retrograde, by the way, I'm a little stumbly on my words. It's just because we're in Mercury retrograde. I feel for a lot of you, you have been through, I'm seeing sacred geometry again. I don't know that that's exactly what this is up here, but it's giving me sacred geometry uh, uh, vibes that could be very significant or assigned to some of you. Before we clarify, I can feel that you've really been careful um, with your boundaries like we've talked about in several last readings, Cancer, because you're so nice, you're so loving. You give your heart, like you wear your heart on your sleeve most of the time, like <clears throat> with even with strangers, hey, oh, you know, you offer that loving, um, comforting, nurturing, mama bear, papa bear, just energy. And I feel like you have learned to be careful, like, okay, I'm meeting a new friend group or I met a new person or I'm in a new job situation, right? You're in a new environment for a lot of you and you've been like, hey, I'm having fun, but I'm also like not over giving the way I used to. And then something just falls right into place for you. Someone's really passionate here about you. Like someone sees you as like the winner, the one. Two of Cups, Hierophant, and this is leading towards a very high level commitment here, okay? All right, let's go deeper and clarify. I've already pre-shuffled and cut this for you. Tower at the bottom of the deck. I really don't think that you are expecting this at all. Some of you are gonna be in a situation where you're like, man, I don't know why this happened, but then this ended up working out. Like you're gonna be at the right place at the right time and you're gonna understand why something had to go a certain way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
All right, let's go back to this Three of Pentacles. This is um, I'm he almost feeling like matchmaker, and that doesn't even have to be romantic. It could be, but right here, um, they're showing me spirits behind this this uh, tapestry right here, and put spirits like mm -hmm, we put you two together to either work together, co to collaborate together, to start building and planting seeds together. That's adorable. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What's this Three of Pentacles for Cancer, please? Yeah, you. Perfect. Yes. All right, Cancer, we have the Seven of Cups, your card, the Chariot with the Strength card. Could have also been dealing with the Leo here. Um, in this, like, like I said, this team building, some new people, situations, group, there was a lot of like seven of cups, a lot of different ways to go about it, a lot of options that you had, but I feel like um, you chose yourself no matter what. I feel like there's also this energy that I'm really proud of y'all for, where like say you've met a new friend and or even someone romantic or whatever, and um, like the old you might have like started to change a lot of yourself to kind of mold around them. Uh, that friend, that person, that even that job, but I feel like you're like, no, I'm gonna find the balance here and still connect emotionally with this, but also still keep in my power. The chariot and the strength card together is like, you've been working really hard to stay in your power, to move forward and not get caught up um, in other people's emotions, okay? Like you're really learning to not be the sponge so much for other people, I love this. Four of Pentacles, again, like we talked about, you have worked so hard and I'm so fucking proud of you because you have the strength card this has not been an easy journey for you to like say no sometimes I'm not available today you know oh sounds good seven of cups I don't know but something's telling me to stay home like you've been very good about picking you and that's why you're attracting some kind of beautiful situation in okay um eight of cups in the uh Eight of Cups and the King of Swords came out, Five of Swords on your Knight of Wands. I feel for a lot of you, you were dealing with some kind of player energy, someone who was inconsistent with you, and you're done. You're the water sign here, Eight of Cups, like you're over this King of Swords. Could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius for a lot of you, male or female, this person holds more masculine energy, and or you're just comfortable with saying no, even if it Five of Swords, even if it, you know, causes conflict. What's this Knight of Wands recent past? High Priestess. Yeah, you you felt the signs. You you felt that um, Three of Cups. You're like I I you're getting the signs, the synchronicities, the feelings, the the numbers, the inklings to move on from. What's that King of Swords? Okay, someone who was just giving you petty offers in the past. Okay, I do feel like y'all were dealing with a, with a player or someone who just couldn't fully show up for you. Whatever that means to you here. And if it doesn't resonate, we don't force a message in, okay? And if it doesn't resonate, we also don't need to leave a rude comment either. It's general. What's this page of cups in the recent past? Divine timing. I feel like it's like something happened at the perfect time. What's this page of cups for cancer? Moon, you, at night. Something happened at night. Queen of swords. hangman to a cups you met someone at night for a lot of you or just in a very like maybe around the last full moon we just had in pisces two of cups this is where you met this person or things started to develop hangman somewhat you or this other person started to see things in a different light queen of swords i feel like uh someone's wanting to talk to you open you up or you're wanting to open them up and explore oh who are you get to getting to know each other a little bit and again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a friend. It can be a family member. It can be a, a you know, whatever. Someone, I'm hearing someone say something like, well, what about them? Or what about that? Someone, like I'm seeing the Romance Angels deck of like, uh, someone may differ from your usual type and expectations or a situation like hey 
why don't you try this this time? Like, I, I feel very suggestive Queen of Swords energy. Some of y'all might have a Queen of Swords, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. This is a feminine energy that's very suggestive, like pushing you out of your comfort zone a little bit. Who's that Queen of Swords? Two of Cups, it could be the person. Two of Swords, um, Ten of Wands. Yeah, this could be the person um, or someone connecting you to. What's this full card current energy for cancer, please? This is a brand new beginning. It's a whole new book. This is a whole new, again, it's not a chapter. The Wheel of Fortune would be like, oh, next, pa next page, next chapter, or the world card. But when we get to the full card for me, something just is like, new book. What are we going to write? What are we going to call this one? Like, I don't know. What's on her necklace? They want me to see what's on her necklace. A red necklace, a red beaded necklace is significant for somebody. And, am and the amethyst crystal in her hand. Okay. What's the full card for cancer, please? Okay, we've got the Page of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Seven of Wands. Someone's definitely probably reaching out, trying to communicate, meet you online. This is also a social media card for me, Communication, Eight of Wands. Um, or just trying to get to know you, like I said. Seven of Wands, there's a little bit of a defensive energy here because we also have the Six of Cups showing up. You could have met someone, um, and but they feel a little bit like somebody else. You're like, oh, hey, I love this, connecting with this new friend but there's a couple things I'm seeing that remind me of another friend that I don't like, or you know what I mean? There's a little bit of seven of wands, two of swords. You're like, I'm not sure. I don't have all the information. Judgment, yeah. But you and someone are definitely talking, getting to know each other. Um, Knight of pentacles on this. Oh, someone doesn't want it to move slow. Thank you, spirit. Someone wants to jump in and someone wants to take it slow. <laughs> That's the resistance. That's the seven of wands. Otherwise, eight of wands, Page of Cups, you and someone are like happy to talk. This is very flirty, maybe a little like sexting energy for some of you. It feels very fun, okay? What's the moon card for you? I love that you have the moon card. You're one of your cards in the heart of your reading. You're the chariot and the moon card because you're ruled by the moon. Also, um, a lot of you could have some Pisces in your chart or be dealing with a Pisces. I'm seeing a black and white wolf. There's the two wolves here, but one's black and one's white. Spirit, what's this moon card for Cancer, please? What, why is this here? Two of Wands, full moon, new contract, tower. So I'm gonna go like this new, this full moon Pisces energy, like when you're, again, like I feel like when you're asleep or you're resting or you're like meditating, journaling, like in your very, sorry, in your very four of swords, chill energy, boom, tower, there's that phone call, there's that email, two of wands, new contract. A lot of you are in a new energy, new contract. It's going to take some work, but why the tower with this? Something happening at night, tower. Devil could be a Capricorn star card. Someone is obsessed. I keep getting the devil with the star, the devil with high priestess. It's very power couple, very magnetic, strong energy. Someone's been watching you at night and is ready for a new contract. Can we tell me more about the new contract? I want to see a little bit more about the two of wands, please. Yeah, there's been, someone's been fighting this, but when we have the full card, five of wands, full card, page of pentacles, baby steps. The way this is going to work is, is baby steps. <laughs> What's this three of wands about? There's, there has been some delays. Someone's a little jealous of someone else's success. We have the hermit here. This is also um, Virgo's card. We are in Virgo season. So there has been some delays in this time of, Vir of in Virgo season. But then boom, we have the six of wands and the ace of pentacles. Your ships are coming in. That victory, two of swords, three of wands. Like I do feel it's about a message it's about someone coming towards you. The only reason for some of you, I feel like there could be some delays in the situation is someone's undergoing some healing in the hermit energy. What's that about? 
five of wands someone's like fight, fighting their own inner demons here but then they kind of overcome it six of wands and ace of pentacles someone wants to invest invest in you or you're ready to invest after a time of healing someone needs a little bit more time to think it through someone needs a little bit more time to rest and make sure that this is in alignment for what they want you and or them preferably both What's this Queen of Wands near future? It's like you, it's like you get it. You get it. You get it. You get it. Justice, Ten of Pentacles. Yes. Um, Temperance, Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. What do you get? The everything card. The career, the family, the connection, right? Has it been a long road? Like I'm getting this, this hair for energy that we saw the steps. That's very Nine of Wands energy of like, man, never thought this would happen for me. Or I always hoped, but man, I've just been through the ringer. I've kissed a bunch of frogs you know what I mean like it's just been oh okay temperance like like your angels have you this is happening in divine timing I keep hearing over and over you're in the right place at the right time or you'll be at the right place at the right time to receive queen of wands your glory your abundance with the justice card is like karmic justice like you deserve this hierophant also which is right here I heard that song, I Want to Grow Old With You. What is that from Wedding Singer? Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I fucking love that movie. I'm going to watch it tonight. <laughs> That's your homework. Some of y'all need to watch that movie. There's a message in there for you. Some of you, that's you. Like you've been dealing with the King of Swords. Remember, he's kind of like... She's with someone who's kind of like an a-hole at first, and then I don't want to ruin the movie, but then, then magic happens later. That's your homework movie. <laughs> okay. Two of Cups. What is this from Cancer, please? Ten of Swords, Death Card, Two of Pentacles. And we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Star. Why the Two of Pentacles? And the Knight of Wands, Six of Cups. Okay, so this is a very beautiful connection. And someone's still maybe trying to walk away from... I feel like you, this, this is a connection that's coming through. Um, feels very good and solid. But I do feel like one of the two of you still has someone else on your mind. Or there's another... It feels like a third party, like someone's working two jobs and so it's hard for the connection to come together or um someone actually might have quit a job so you two can come together there's still a little bit of like figuring out ten of cups is here page of wands four of pentacles someone's letting go of like another connection or another commitment to come into this one okay And I still feel a push and pull, like someone wants to move faster and someone wants to move slower. So that's why there's like this, uh, a little bit of like a, a push and pull energy on this. All right, let's look at the Hierophant here and wrap it up. The high level commitment, uh, Taurus energy, the sun card, yes. Uh, what? Yes, and the star again, double star, double star, double star, double wish, come you're someone's dream come true and vice versa and they're yours oh my god high level commitment sun card six of swords magician you did it you manifested this you got out of the murky waters you got out of the stagnant energy and you're in the sun card this is the happiest most abundant card in the deck oh my god with the star card this was meant for you written in the stars major wish fulfillment the world card is behind this you have literally transported and transformed your life i'm hearing transported again that's significant for someone from you're in like one skin into another now like welcome to your new life you've literally done it like you're not the same person that you used to be you're not in the same energy you used to be you're coming into like high level commitment here this is absolutely beautiful 
All right, loves, um, that's your reading. I'm gonna do the pick a card. Those of you that wanna join us for the love reading where we connect with your other person, that's the first link in the description box below. And the cancer that won the pick a card this time is Michelle Murphy. Michelle, you are my winner. Okay, so Cancer, if you want me to pick your card next time, just make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time I might pick you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for your love and support. I'll catch y'all in the love reading or next time. All right, Michelle, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. Got two more. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Michelle Murphy? Cancer energy. Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You're either coming into a commitment, a union, maybe some kind of celebration around marriage, um, or you're already in one. major it's like a like some it feels like someone's birthday maybe you're dealing with the virgo it's brewing virgo season it's too many there's a lot of people around you those are mostly people it's a lot you have a lot of people around you all right michelle what's going on here ten of cups i see a happy girl yeah or you're, lear you're learning to see life. You're choosing happiness, actually. Very good. Hangman and the Ten of Cups is you're choosing to see the light. You're choosing to see the positive in things. Love it. King of Swords. Um, there's a victory with this King of Swords here. Or almost, I want to say over this King of Swords. Yeah, you've gotten over something. Five of Swords, you've gotten over some conflict with somebody. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Michelle. There is a new contract. You have a two of wands, um, double nine of wands. Page of pentacles, bottom of the deck to the 10 of pentacles. Beautiful. Okay, so I feel like you're like, you're moving into a high level situation. Um, you're leaving something of a low, low vibe of toxicity behind you that you've like, I almost feel like you've just been in a very toxic um, relationship or situation and you felt like you were trapped there for a long time, but you're finally able to like leave and move on to a happier life. All right. What's this 10 of cups? Yeah, this is love. This is a connection here. Very healthy give and take here. What's this 10 of cups? Four of swords. You could have been praying for this time in your life, this connection. You could have prayed for this person. Um, five of pentacles, four of pentacles. I feel like you are missing someone that you're in a relationship with. Oh, is this person, I almost feel like someone that you love and care about. It's like, are they going to be like traveling for work soon or you will? And so y'all are going to feel like you're going to miss each other. That feels like something coming up here. What's this king of swords from Michelle? High Priestess, Five of Swords, Judgment, Magician. Yeah, whatever this announcement is, it's like, hey, I've made a decision and it's gonna cause, it's gonna cause some waves. It's gonna, it's gonna cause some waves with this King of Swords. You're not gonna like it, what they say, or vice versa, they're not gonna like what you have to say. Because someone's made a decision, it's like, hey, I'm doing this. So, Six of Wands, Empress, The Eight of Swords, the Emperor, Temperance, Page of Wands. You've manifested something for yourself and you've been able to get, like, I feel like you've overcome, like, what, like, I'm hearing, what is it? Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Like, I feel like you used to be really sensitive to what people would say to you. And you've really, or this person in, or someone in this situation specifically. And you're like, I know that whatever, what other people say or project upon me is like, basically a mirror. Like, it doesn't have nothing to do with you. It's, 
When people project negativity upon you, that just means that they feel negative and shitty about themselves. So someone's been like doing that to you and it could be even like a mother figure with the empress or you've learned negative talk from a mother figure from your past and you're overcoming that self like negative self-talk which is huge if that's what's happening for you like you've overcome like some kind of bully energy that's big i'm so proud of you for you to turn the script around in your own head on like because someone used to like, I feel like tell you like you could never get this or you'll never be enough or something. And you actually like incorporated that and you'll, you kind of used to like, like settle for less in situations in multiple, they're saying in multiple situations. And now if it's two of wands, you go not anymore. This is the new me. Like you're rising up. Almost I'm seeing like an elevator, like you're going to the next level. What's this two of wands for Michelle? King of wands, the emperor. Yes, you could be in a contract with an emperor with an Aries divine masculine here. And what's this devil nine of wands back here? Knight of cups, um, star. And the king of pentacles. Hangman, you actually have a, might have a decision between two people, between a Capricorn and an Aries or something like someone, basically earth versus fire. What's the advice for you? You have options. Page of Wands. Do what, do what you're passionate about. I feel like you're, you're facing this, this emperor over here. And I feel like where you were, someone tried to... Um, I kind of feel like love bomb you or keep you, keep you, I don't know, keep you down in a way. Someone used to take care of you, like maybe used to like pay for things for you. I'm almost feeling like a little bit of a sugar daddy vibe, but you're like, oh, it's nice. I get to have nice things, but like, you know, I don't know where the love is. There's a little bit, but you're interested in this other, this emperor or for working for yourself now. All right, girl, that's your reading. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. See you in the love reading next time. Bye.